Hello and welcome to the new Xbox um, One experience interface. Um, we rolled out yesterday, um, like at noon, at midnight Pacific Standard Time, three uh, Eastern Standard Time. I am not happy with this. Um, yeah, I feel like they added a lot more stuff, but none of it was actually helped with navigation. So this is the home screen. This is the first screen you look at. Not much has changed here. We still have the three ads on the right. Um, I mean, ads for games. Um, sometimes there's actually an ad for Heroes of the Storm. And then on the bottom, the most noticeably right here, is a um, is now gone. There used to be bars down there, so um, that's gone. Now that's turned into a separate like page. page. Um, so first off, the controls are... Uh, we have... Uh, left trigger or left trigger right trigger goes all the way down so the triggers are up and down movement um, the bumpers are uh, left and right movement and the, and the options here um, yeah uh, left stick and um, the uh, d-pad navigation real easy you know uh, a and B basic stuff like that now the big problem I have here is this this right here this is um Oh, well, this is some stuff, but it's... It, there's a lot of useless information uh, here. Um, I don't care about any of this stuff. I don't care about Game Hub. I don't care about Share. I bet a lot of people don't care about that stuff. Uh, there are some people that do care, and those are minor the minority. And there's a lot of wasted space here. Originally, you would, you know, click here and then click down, and then you would ha have access to, a, like, five different things. And, and I like that. And it was made, made like, this game's always be there. And, you know, you didn't have to pin stuff. And so, it's a lot of navigation problems. I use the um, the media remote, which is now completely garbage. <clears throat> so, if you, it's a $25 media remote. It doesn't have any face buttons on here. So, what it does is, a, it's like a remote. Um, it even uses IR. Uh, if you have a connector, you can even do the channels and the a remote uh, mute and all that stuff. And it's pretty cool. Like, say if I'm watching, like, some Hulu or Netflix or Amazon or HBO or Funimation or Twitch or YouTube, it's great navigation because it uses two AA batteries and it doesn't have rumble and it doesn't have a lot of, you know, it doesn't, it, like, they last for, it lasts forever. And so that's cool, but it also doesn't work anymore. Um, it's a lot slower. Uh, the, the There's a home button on here now, but that doesn't work on this button anymore. Uh, it, you know, it, it doesn't work. So I'm pressing the home button right now. It's, it, it's harder to navigate through the system. So like I click right here, come on, click right. And so it's just going through that. It, it's really, really slow. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I might have to stop using that thing and start using the smart app, which is also pretty good. But yeah. It's it's a lot of wasted information here. Uh, I don't understand why this is always at the bottom. I wish this was like... I, the main problem I have with this interface is that it doesn't do a lot of optimization of information. Um, it's supposed to be these Windows 10 thing, and I would really like it if I could just remove all this or change this dynamically. Uh, I don't care about this extra like information here in this in this opaque uh, boxes. I think it's a lot. You can literally put this here and just look at your wallpaper and all that stuff. It's it's stupid, um, you know, all that stuff. So you know that's the home. And then we have more inf shitty information called the um, the community. Like I really don't care. I mean, some people do care, but like it's really cool that this is here. But it's really shitty that it takes up so much space. I see the top two achievements that my, or two and one quarter achievements that my friends got. So you know, okay. So Owen is playing uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, Ash Servan is playing uh, Havoc or uh, Call of Duty or Halo Five. What the hell is uh, Owen doing? I I don't know. Like there's just it's just it needs to be smaller. It needs to be more condensed. Um, then they have this right side just like again. What is this information? It's like, oh, uh, internet versus 343 industries. You know, over time it could change, but like, it's still like, it's blown out. It's like for a screen that I don't know. Uh, Google does this a lot with uh, YouTube, um, where like if you, I have a um, Note 4, 
or in a tablet, and they they presented the same thing. So like if I if I go to I, I know it's really hard to see, but bring out your Android phone or even your iPhone, and you hit the App Store, you hit uh, I, you hit YouTube, and you click the the uh, the sub, your subscriptions. You were, oh they changed it a little bit, but you're presented with like very there's a lot of blank space. There's a lot of blank space that can be condensed and and change and all that stuff, and it's it's a lot of wasted space. Um, but yeah, like I could share stuff here, like oh god, cool. This is useless. I mean, this has been here, but still, like it's now more pre present. Like, what is the point here? Like, seriously, did that need to be that big? <laughs> um, one guide is now still here, more powerful than ever. So if you if you like one guide, I'm, I feel far, sorry for you. But this is dumb. This is extremely dumb. Uh, this is all, this isn't pulling from your accounts. This pulls in, you know, what is the top thing? What is the most popular stuff? So it's it's really stupid. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Uh, it, it doesn't... It doesn't present me information that I that would be really cool for me, um, you know. It it's not even pulling in apps that I own, so it's like, oh, you see the Ronda Rousey versus Holmes UFC fight. Uh, I think UFC is fucking stupid, uh, but I don't think R Ronda Rousey is stupid. So like, just UFC is dumb. It's it's dumb. Um, you know, Crackle, Amazon, Netflix, and then you know, free videos, and then there's all sorts of other stuff that like people I don't know if people actually use this. I don't think people actually use this, so why is this so prevalent? Like, why is this here? Like, do people just sit here and just like, oh, wow, what's the uh, the top travel events? Hmm. Coach won't stop leading players despite punishment. <clears throat> Let's see, will it pop that? And a nice loading screen. And roll into add. Jesus you need a website. Christ. Why not? And then it pops up in that, and then, yeah. It's it's stupid. Like these, it's snappier. The, the the UI is faster, but these two things are fucking garbage. Like, what is the point of this shit? Like, seriously, what were they thinking when they add this? Like, if some people were like this, that would be cool. But I don't want this. I don't want any of this stuff. So now we get to the store, which is actually I think a lot better. So you can see like you know, quick off new releases. Oh, hey, Rise of the Tomb Raider came out along with Fallout. Um, yeah, probably a shitty time to release a game when Fallout just announced that they, uh, Bethesda just announced that they sold 14 million copies on, uh, Fallout 4, breaking records. You know, we could see top-rated games, Fallout, uh, The Witcher, all that stuff. So, that's cool. You can also press these, you know, see all, to see what's all so new, and all that stuff. It also brings up the app, which sucks, and then when you do it at the windows and try to go back again, it sits you here. Um... Since this is more of a Windows 10, you know, architecture for coding, you're going to start seeing more apps right now. Uh, there's nothing new. But, yeah, you, you know, you can come here. It's a lot easier to find new apps. Again, same thing with the game. See what's new. Um, so that's cool. That's cool. Like, the store they added here, that's cool. See what's, you know. It would be nice to see if there was a more, po like, popular things, popular um, apps, too. Uh, movies, you know, same thing. These are all their... Um, movies from, you know, Xbox movies, whatever, Windows movies, uh, series, blah, blah, blah. Same thing with music. Uh, there's some YouTube stuff, and then you got Groove. You're going to have to download the Groove app. So, if you're into this stuff, you know, whatever. But, yeah, it's, it's, the, the store section is a lot easier to navigate and see, you know, information is being presented to you. Like, what's hot? You know, this stuff here is going good. I really like coming to this side sometimes and then seeing, like, some games being played or something, but now that's completely gone. Uh, some of that stuff has been hidden and all that stuff. So it's, you know, this home stuff is really hard to just, like, okay, so I used to be able to press left, and now you get this. Friends and all that stuff, so, you know. Um, you know, parties, chat. Like, a lot of people are going to be interested in, in this stuff and all that stuff, but... I'm not. Like, I, I really don't care. Um, again, that doesn't mean people that enjoy this stuff are wrong. It's just like, this is cool, but it's just like, there's a lot of stuff wrong here. Like, this one guy in this community, it's just so much useless information. 
Um, what else here? You know, we still have we still have snap. It's a little bit more. E it's easier to snap um, stuff in. So you know, but still a lot of. It's still kind of shitty snap. Like it's still. Hey, it's a it's a bar on your right. It's not really any better. It would be really nice if it were like picture in picture type of thing. Uh, and then they changed settings, which I thought was the worst. So you used to find, I guess, I, somebody said that finding settings is hard. How do you find settings? Like, no, you you press the options button and settings would be here. Now they removed a lot of that stuff. Um, you know, it's now pin to home, manage app. So now we can just quickly uninstall this app if we need it or game. But yeah, now settings is over here to our left. We hit left and then from here we can hit turn off console or restart the console. And here we have all settings presented in the same fashion of, uh, you know, context right here in the um, main window right on the right here. But it's a lot of the same stuff. Um, connect the uh, movability is now gone. Uh, you know, it's it's nothing's new here. It's just in a different area. Um, so they added accessibility, ease of use stuff. Narrators in the game in here and magnifier. Con I, was high contrast in there? I don't know. But yeah, it's that stuff's there. And then the newest thing is button mapping. You, this is um, this is for uh, el the elite, for like doing all sorts of different stuff. But your Xbox One wireless controller or any Xbox One wireless controller can also do this. So you can swap sticks, invert the X and Y, um, swap triggers. But then you can bind one button, I guess. So like, hey, if you wanted. Uh, but it's only the face buttons, bumpers, and stick click. So it's not as robust as the PS4, but it's it's a step. Um, so like, hey, if you wanted to bind B to uh, A, there we go. So now it swaps and, you know, all that stuff. Uh, restore to default. There we go. But yeah, um, nothing that. It's pretty much the same. It's just like this whole interface is kind of like changed. Um, I just really like if this presented shows like, hey, Q, my Q, and then like, hey, this show is you have a new episode of you know, Flash. You have a new Flash, or like, uh, hey, you have a rec pack. You uh, they give out rec packs, or or keep in touch with new DLC, or uh, hey. Um, new episode from Grain Brumps, or Markiplier, or whatever, or fucking Gaboos 967, whatever. It would be nice if that was there, but no, they don't. They don't. They just show, hey, featured show, hey, let's watch Missy Elliott. Her fifth music video of 15 years. Yippee! Um, yeah. So a lot of people accuse me of being an Xbox One fan, um, but no, it's, it's, I hate everything. Like, this is really hard. Like, okay, so, um, we're watching YouTube. Yay! And then, you know, hey, uh, let's, uh, let's go back and I want to watch Netflix. And so now I have to go down here. Netflix. But I watch Netflix a lot, and so it used to be right here. But now it's not, because this all changes based on how many, you know, your latest apps. So, like, the past three apps and then your game disc, yeah? This can't change, because this is the game disc. It's weird. It's weird. Um, but yeah, it's... It's really... It's... I don't even know... I wouldn't even call it presented in a nice way, but it's it's kind of shitty. And then we'll wrap this up with... Uh, they also introduced backwards compatibility here. Um, games like uh, the Rare Replay featured that, but now it's open. So now I can actually download Perfect Dark, even though I have that for the Rare Play. Um, a couple other games, Toy Soldiers, uh, what else do we got here? Midnight Night Combat, uh, Fable 2, World of Cufflings. So what I got here is uh, Torchlight. We'll see how this runs. I don't have gold, so I don't have any saves saved. So now it's being emulated the thing. So now um, the Windows button and the Options button are the... Is, is that it? Oh, fuck, I forgot. Or is it this? Nope. Shit. Or it crashes. Oh, there we go. Oh, it is the uh, it is the um, the uh, the two buttons. Okay, cool. Oh, holy shit. That was cool.
Wow, this actually looks really nice. Let's see, um... New character... And do the archer... Player... Do that... Done. And then, easy. Let's see how this works. So, Torch, like, really actually got me into, like, Blizzard, um... Like, playing these games with a controller. Like, this direct controls, and it made it real nice. And I wish they Diablo would have brought that onto the PC, but they're two different things. The disturbances in Torchlight were more... So Ooh, it's a little framey. Not the best. Let's, uh, let's turn down the audio, the music here. So I can also hit record. Uh, double tap now gives this. And so like, hey, record that. Screenshot or uh, all that stuff. So yeah, it's it's cool. Not the best experience, but still looks pretty good. For being an Xbox 360 game. Hi there. Hi, Hi there. there. Good day. Got here. Help or stay out of the way. Brink, over here! I can't hold them back much longer. You have gained. You have a gained task. the past. Will you? But yeah, there's some it? games that you can look out of Major Nelson. Some of the Gears of War, uh, Halo Reach is not there. Some of the bigger ones that people wanted are not there. The biggest one being, of course, um, like uh, Black Ops Three or Black Ops Two, um, and Halo Reach because Halo Reach is not part of the uh, the uh, Master Chief Collection. And a lot of people actually like Halo Reach. I like Halo Reach. I've arrived in Tor. Yeah, it seems a little bit framey. You're not going to get optimized. The games are not optimized. Uh, but yeah, it, it's. I mean, this game didn't run that well on Xbox 360 anyway, so it's it's cool. It looks still looks pretty good. Uh, let's actually try uh, uh, Shadow Complex. I actually downloaded that. That's one of like the first. Um, um, XBLA games, the Xbox Live arcade games. This is uh, made by Chair, uh, spinoff from Unreal. Um, and this is uh, people that made on. What is it called? Dungeon Defenders? No. Um, Infinity Blade. So this is like a like a like a Metroidvania game uh, in the sense of a. Uh... Oh man. Yeah, a chair. Oh, cool. Pulled it in my safe. There we go. But yeah, it, 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 a lot of this works. A lot of this works. But yeah, it's, um... Hey, it's a new X... It's, it, you can play Xbox 360 games on your Xbox One. Not the best experience. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, unless you like some... Weird games because these are not going to be optimized. These are games just being ported to the uh, the service and all that stuff. Um, game hub. Hmm, what's this here? This is going to put me for the Shadow Complex game hub. The UI seems faster. Um, I guess that's not going to happen. Microsoft or uh, the um, Microsoft Edge is the new web browser. Oh wow, it is. Huh. Wow. Um. But it's still kind of garbage. Other than that, apps haven't changed. They still need to be updated if they need to be changed. But yeah, it's it's a new interface. It's not, I don't think, in the right direction, personally. Um, but it's still, still better than the PS4. Jesus Christ, it's such a shit. It's so hard to navigate that. It's just like, uh, it's it's weird. Um, 
Yeah, it would have been nice to have this changed a little bit, a little bit smaller <laughs> icons, maybe have different rows. The same thing with apps and all that stuff. You still cannot force an update on games, which I would really love. Um, that's the main thing I loved about PS4 is forcing updates because I don't want to leave the game. My because when you when you leave the game when you leave the console and uh, instant on, it's still like have spinning the um, the PC the uh, the power supply fan, which can be a little bit loud sometimes. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe.